I see fangs peeking her head out. She's been hiding in that little cubby that's up there a lot lately. <laughs> Somebody's in the top bed. Ryder is in her bed right there. <laughs> She's just kind of out of luck since she found a new spot on the cat tree. <laughs> okay. So I am talking to you all because <laughs> we are going to do a music reaction and we are going to react to Home Free. They are singing American Pie by Don McLean. And I've been excited to listen to this one. It's a classic. I know my uh, one of my best friends played it in high or was she in high school? Yeah, high school band. And she said it was a difficult piece to learn. They learned it for one of the parades that they were doing. And um, she said it's difficult because it's got different pacing throughout the song, at least for the instrument that she played. And so I'm curious to see how Home Free handles it. Of course, we know they handle speed very well, whether they're speeding up or slowing down. Perfect example is all about that bass where they're singing at regular speed and then they turn it into barbershop towards the end and speed it up a bit. So I don't think they'll have any problem with that part of it, but the song is known for that. It's also a very long song. <laughs> So I didn't look to see how long it is, but I, I imagine it's not going to be the full version. I, I have a feeling they'll edit it a bit, but if it's over, I'm trying to think of what their average is, I would say if it's between two and a half and three, then they've kept it pretty, sh uh, pretty short, more to the regular tunes. But I know with all the stuff that they do, it's got to be hard to maintain a, a long song. So, you know, they're not going to be doing Alice's Restaurant anytime soon. <laughs> so, um, how long is the song? Let's see. So, Don McLean's version, at least um, the main up on his uh, channel, is 8 minutes and 37 seconds. Now, oh, Home Freeze version is 8 minutes and 24 seconds. So they kept it pretty, they, pretty true to the song is what it seems. And um, it does feature Don McLean. So that was also a neat collab to hear about. And I can't wait to watch the making of. I've been wanting to watch it and I've been putting it off because I know they put the song in there. So I knew I couldn't watch it without ruining my reaction to this one. So, oh, okay. We're almost there. They're going to be pretty out of breath by the end of this one, I would think. It's got to be hard on the voice to maintain all that background. And I don't know if they'll keep the background simple and clean or if they will jazz it up any. So that'll be interesting to hear as well. The song has wonderful opportunities for layering and harmonizing. So that will also be nice to see. Don McLean sang it as a single vocalist. So I think it'll be interesting to hear the song layered and what they bring to it. I'm curious, and they may address this in the making of, so I'll watch it after I react to the song itself. I'm curious as to if they approached him or if he approached them, because I know uh, some of their collabs have turned uh, with some of the legends have turned out because the legends asked them to do a song with them. Case in point, the Oak Ridge Boys. <laughs> All right, I think I've talked enough. Are you guys ready? Ready to watch it? Ready to watch it. Okay, it's a long one, so let's get comfortable. All right. 
and I'm actually dressed today. So it's another good reason to go ahead and get this done. I had to wait and charge my earpieces because I had training today. This is Saturday and I had training from 9 a.m. until or from 12 p.m. until four. It went a little past four. And so then I had to uh, charge my earpieces again. So went and got groceries, had problems with the car. <laughs> something is draining the battery on the car and we can't figure out what it is. It's something new. It's only started in the last couple of months and seems to be getting worse. And I've had the car since fall of, yeah, fall of 2016. A little puzzled on that. It's going to the mechanic on the eight, the, the, what are they called? He does the diagnostics. Is he a diagnostician? I know that's what we call those in the medical field that work on getting a diagnosis, a diagnostician. But whatever that particular mechanic is, that's where it's going on the 8th and leaving it with him. And hopefully he can figure out what's draining the battery all of a sudden. All right. I've put it off and I've put it off. And you guys are going, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. I'm getting there. All right, let's go. Let's watch it. And actually, before I get it started, another one that I would love to hear them do, and I don't know if they have this planned for later on down the road or anything like that, I'd love to hear them do Starry Starry Night. That's one of my favorites. When I see you smile by bad English and... <laughs> And Starry Starry Night. I think they would do a wonderful job of that one. But at any rate, let's see how they did with American Pie. I'm nervous. Okay. Okay. A long, long time ago, I can still remember how that music That's Dawn used to singing. make me smile. And I knew if I had my chance That I could make those people dance And maybe they'd be happy for a while But February made me shiver With every paper I delivered Bad news on the doorstep I couldn't take one more step I can't remember if I cried when I read about his widowed bride, but something touched me deep inside the day the music died. And that part um, sounds like they've kept it pretty true to the original song. Um, I'm trying to think if he had any instruments at all when he first sings that uh, first part there. There might be a guitar playing or a piano playing. I can't remember for sh for certain, um, but it's very, very simple and clean. So them doing the background harmonizing um, fit that very well. But that is Don le leading the song. Um, I'm pretty sure. And so I realized this is not the video itself. And I don't know if they did a video to it. Um, I will watch that separately. I, I'm not going to react to the video itself, but um, I wanted to go ahead and react to the song. So. So bye bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Them good old boys are drinking whiskey and rye. Singing, This'll be the day that I die. This'll be the day that I die. Did you write the book of love and I'll pause it there. Um, I didn't want to mess up the transition because I could tell from the way they they came in and started it that it would change yet again. Um, so that part where the boys were singing also, 
uh, Tim and Chance, you could hear singing doing the bass. And I think Adam was singing baritone as well. Uh, because the higher parts, which would be Rob and Austin, weren't as strong. So I think Adam went to the side of Chance and Tim uh, rather than to the side of Rob and Austin. They kept it low. Um, so I noticed that. Um, and I noticed that there was um, no instruments. And so I started wondering, are they going to have the drum kit and all that? But yeah, they are. So let's go ahead and get back to it. You have faith in God above. If the Bible tells you so. How do you believe in rock and roll? Can music save your mortal soul? And can you teach me how to dance real slow? Well, I know that you're in love with him because I saw you dancing. I'll pause it there. Um, so I wanted to get a good feel for the rhythm that they were doing. And the first thing it reminded me of when they bring the instruments in, in that doo-wop kind of thing um, that Tim is doing, is it reminds me of um, a Beach Boys type of uh, feeling to it, the, the surfer vibe, um, which... I was trying to think the original doesn't have as much of that surfy vibe. So I think it's the doo-wopping that Tim is doing that makes it feel that way. I'm not positive, though, because remember, I'm not a music expert. Just telling you how I feel. <laughs> I think it slows down here after this course. Okay, doesn't slow down there. I pause it there. I would have loved to have heard Austin do his whale that he does right there. Although they've been keeping it a single lead. So they would have had to have had the whole song have some ins and outs with all of them. But I think Austin's whale would have been great there. 
It may slow down right here. This will be the day that I die. No, I'm wrong again. A generation lost in space. No time left to start. That's Tim. That's gone again, right? This will be the day that I die. Or chance. I met a girl who sang the blues. And I asked Here's her the for slow down. some happy news. But she just smiled and turned away. This is Dawn. And I went down to the sacred store. Where I'd heard the music years before But the man there said the music wouldn't play In the streets the children screamed The lovers cried and the poets dreamed But not a word was spoken The church bells all were broken And the three men I admire most Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost They caught the last train for the coast The day The music Died Keeping it They were singing Bye, bye, Miss American Pie Drove my Chevy to the levee But the levee was dry them good old boys are drinking whiskey and rye Singing this will be the day that I die This will be the day that I Speed it up Die Oh, maybe not Nope I thought in the original it sped up there at the end, but it must not. You gonna lay down there? Okay. So this is confusing. Down in the description it says auto generated by YouTube. And I'm not quite sure what that means because it's under Home Freeze channel. I always try to make sure I have the original artist channel because it's only fair. Even when I clip other artists, uh, the original artist songs in the uh, description for you guys, I if they have a channel, I look at their channel first before I try any others or their music company's channel like Sony. But Vivo that handles a lot of accounts and that kind of stuff. So something like that. I try to do those before I use anything else. Um, so auto generated by YouTube, I don't understand that. Was I correct in that Dawn sang lead the entire time except for that one section with Tim? I don't know if I heard all of that correctly. And then I did, couldn't tell if that one part was Chance or Dawn. 
And that's kind of why I like the video where they're, where they do a video because I can see who's singing what and hear it. I did hear Austin do a really high part after I had made the comment about, I would love to have heard him do the whale there at that one spot. Um, I did hear the really high part. And of course the lows um, were um, the focus of this song. I loved it. Uh, They did a great job with it. It's, they could have done it a number of ways. And I think they would have done a great job a number of ways with it. I kept thinking the slower part was sooner, but I was wrong on that. Um, Although it might be on the original, because I also thought it sped up after the slow part in the original. And now I'm not sure. (laughs) I loved it. Bye, bye. (laughs) No wonder he fits so well in with these guys. He's hilarious. <laughs> and a good singer. <laughs> That'd be a great parody. Okay, he coined the term The Day the Music Died to paint the scene in its aftermath. And I can't read these things without tearing up. Just forgive me. I cried when Darth Vader died. Um <laughs> But uh, he says, to paint the scene and its aftermath of a tragedy made mythic by its compounded horror and impact on the country. I'll get through it, I promise. And its popular music, The Triple Death, on February 3rd, 1959, of Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the big bopper, J.P. Richardson. Um Richie Valens was the Latino singer I was thinking of because I think there's a, a, a song with some Spanish words in it that he sings, but I might be wrong. <laughs> I don't know him as well. Um, Buddy Holly is who um, is it the group Loser? Or that's the song is called Loser. Who sings Loser? At any rate, um, they're imitating Betty Holly looks wise and everything when they do their one song. I um, see. I don't know song titles in bands and all that kind of stuff very well and matching them up. So I apologize. Um, so I thought that the song being an homage to them was speculation, but it sounds like it's not. Since it first emerged, people have been hungry to understand each line. And Don was forever besieged with questions about its meaning. He was resistant wisely in cracking its codes and instead off. I still can't talk. Sorry. And instead offered this coy response about its meaning. It means I don't ever have to work again if I don't want to. (laughs) Dignified silence, he said, was the best answer, preferring to leave listeners on their own to decipher his words. He did seem to indicate at one point that the jester wearing a borrowed coat from James Dean was meant to be Bob Dylan or Dylan. Bob, however, didn't love the suggestion at all. A jester, he asked in 2017. Sure, the jester writes songs like Masters of War, a hard Rain's a gonna fall in It's All Right, Ma. Some jester. I have to think he's talking about somebody else. Then Dylan added, ask him. Good advice. Generally, if Bob Dylan offers advice on any subject related to songwriting, it makes sense to start to take it to heart. So we went to the source, uh, to Don McLean, to get all the answers about this singular song. Okay, so the ending was slow in the original also, and I so I misremembered that. That's my fault. Thank you guys for watching this, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.